Hey, it's Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll, and I've got my cargo shorts on in uh, honor of my bud, Fred Yelverton, because uh, I know he's a, he's a fashion king when it comes to those sorts of things. But I want to take and, and talk a little bit about, because it's a time of year when fall armorworms can be at their peak, and if you're interested in, 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 in whether you've got them or not, this soapy water flush I talk about so much, uh, if you've got some uh, lemon-scented dishwashing detergent, that works best, but any liquid dishwashing detergent, and you need to get maybe uh, an ounce of it or so, and uh, just get it close and dump it in two gallons of water and get it all in there and stir it around a little bit and then you simply just take it and you pour it out over maybe a three foot by three foot area and just do it nice and slowly. It doesn't matter what kind of a sprinkling can or watering can you have, it just needs to be one that uh, can hold a couple gallons of water and allows you to evenly distribute the water. It can have flowers on it, it can be yellow, it can be pink. Uh, <clears throat> you, you pick whatever, whatever you find best. And then after you pour this out, it's really important then that you let it do its job and that's irritating the insects and get them to come to the surface so you can see what in the world it is that, uh, that you suspect is out there. So just put the water out there and then what you do is you get down on your hands and knees and you make a close and careful observation. But an important note, you really got to get down and really look for these because just because they come to the surface of soapy water, they may not move very much. And you got to really look and make sure you can find them and dig them out because they're not going to be waving at you or anything. So it's really important to get down and look very closely. So then with careful observation, you can just simply look for the activity and you can find the fall army worms because they do not like the soapy water. And you can pick them up, make sure that's indeed what they are and uh, get an idea. Do you see enough of them out here to be a threat or do you see enough of them out here that they can be responsible for the damage? So the soapy water flush is a really important technique. Just keep in mind that it may take a couple of minutes for them to come to the surface and you need to get down on your hands and knees and look for the next three four or five minutes to make sure you've really given a chance to find these things. And if you do that, if you've got fall armorworms, you're going to find them. If you don't find anything when you do that, yeah, it's probably not fall armorworms causing your problem. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again soon.